Welcome to video 10 of the IBM Maximo application suite, Manage or Maximo Technical Snippets, brought to you by Starboard Consulting. In this video, let's take a look at creating report or QBR to see if that has changed in the application suite. So to do that, let's head on over here to assets. And once I'm in assets, I'm going to bring up my Bedford asset query. Uh, it's a little bit more records than I want. So let me make a little bit of a filter here. All right, better. I've got um, 52 records for a motor and a pump. And all of these assets are inside Bedford. Let's now say that we want to take that application query and create our own report. There are certain fields. Um, that we need for maybe a project that we're looking at. So what I'm going to do is from the action menu, I can scroll down and look for create report, or I can simply type it in and have that action displayed for me. So a couple of things that we'll see when the dialog opens up, it's very familiar. You see the tabs that you have access to as you build your report content. You can select if you're going to use a list or detail report. If you want to save the application query, you give it an, a title. Let's call this our test report. And whether or not you want to share or grant access to your report for others. Well, I'm just going to really look at the features, just kind of see if they're the same as that we've seen in earlier releases. Um, so let me click over here to the content tab. Over here on the far left hand side, this is all very familiar. This is my top level asset object because I'm in the asset application that displays. And this is the object structure with all those child tables. If I have additional applications or object structures that I have access to, I can select them from the lookup. I'm going to stay away from that right now and focus on the far right hand side. In the far right hand side, I have the two available or the two sections, my available fields on the top and my selected fields on the bottom. And selected fields are what we bring over from the application list tab. I actually want to clean this up a little bit. I'm not so sure that I want to see my rotating items and if they're linear. So I simply check the individual field. I want to remove those selected and now they're gone. And I also know that I'm already using Site Bedford. So let me get rid of that field also. So now I can just start building my content. I can add my selected field. I can select my type. Maybe I want to say, hey, what's the priority? Let's grab that field. That's always really nice. Let's see if there's some cost fields. Maybe I want to grab my total cost. Um, what else might I have? Is there a budgeted cost or a year-to-date cost? Let's grab that. That's lovely. And now you can see that I've built up to nine. Again, very similar functionality to that was available before, those nine individual fields. Let's take a peek at the Calculate tab. Is that the same? Looks pretty much the same. This is the object structure over here on the left, our available fields. And if I wanted to build that calculation, that expression, I could do so here. Again, I'm gonna make this super simple. So let's come over here and summarize. Um, what do I want to potentially summarize? I don't know, let's grab our total budgeted cost. That's um, nice and we'll add that. So that's gonna take any budgeted numbers I have for that selected set of assets or my query and show those at the very top level and if I want to add any formatting. Again, if I don't want to see this section, I simply click on the two arrows to minimize or collapse it. I don't want to add an extra filter or parameter, but maybe I do want to group. Um, how do I want to group these? Um, I don't know. Let's grab them by priority and see what happens. And then again, if I wanted to sort these in a particular order, if I wanted to sort them by maybe my year to date cost, I could go ahead and select it. But again, it's very, very similar. I have those same type of lookups. My, my yarn field is a little different with the dialog, but again, very, very familiar. And again, if I come up here to the top, I can navigate to my different tabs in the same way. So I do have the option to preview my QBR or ad hoc report. It's going to take all my inputs, bring them over here into my separate report browser. Here's my title. You can see some of my groupings down here. 
I have a number of assets that don't have a priority, but I can see my priorities two, three, and four. And then from the toolbar, I can navigate down to my additional pages and see my queries. So we can see by this very quick look at our ad hoc or QBR reporting tool in Maximo Application Suite, it's very similar to what we've seen before. So thank you very much for your time as we continue to explore the Maximo Application Suite features.